But the problem with relying on the private sector is that there are many things that the private sector either can't or won't do. And particularly in the modern world where there's a lot of pressure on corporations to report quarterly profits, science typically is a long-term investment. It can take a long time, a decade, two decades, three decades, to sort out big scientific questions. And so most private sector actors, they just won't do that because there's no short-term profit in it. And that's where the public sector comes in. The public sector is able to make the long-term commitment to scientific research to build and sustain scientific capacity so that we have it when we need it. And we really saw that during COVID because uh, both here in the United Kingdom, in Europe, and in the United States, vaccines were developed quite rapidly. And a lot of that work was done in the private sector, companies like Pfizer and Moderna, but they were able to do it because they were building on decades of publicly funded basic science. And if we hadn't had that foundation of basic science funded by the public purse, we would not have, the private sector actors would not have been able to achieve what they did. So that's where the public funding is so important, that it's complementary to the private sector. And so that's why you need to have both.